In this video, I'm gonna be walking through uh, some of the cards in uh, one of our products called Scrub Notes, which are essentially just reference cards um, that you can attach to the back of one of these um, little ID badge reels. Um, and so I'll, I'll kind of walk you through and, and, and show you what, what these kind of look like. Um, and what we did is we essentially broke them down by, um, these are primarily catered towards students. And what we did is we broke it down by rotation. Depending on what rotation you are, what we found was that a lot of times you, you reference different things. When you're on your medicine rotation or when you're on your pediatrics or when you're on um, surgery or, or whatever it is, neurology, you're gonna be using different things. And so that's kind of what we did. And I'll kind of highlight just some of the things that are on these cards and hopefully you'll find some of them useful. And so the first thing, uh, I think that pediatrics was one of the, for me at least while I was going through the rotation, it was one of the things that I thought that I had the most trouble memorizing anything. Whether it was pediatric vital signs or immunizations or, or vaccines or even lab values, I, I couldn't memorize any of those things. Um, and especially not the milestones. And these were things that they would always ask. And I, I found that even residents, pediatric residents had a lot of difficulty, uh, more so the earlier residents, um, had difficulty even just remembering some of these things as well. And so I, I figured it was something that people commonly referenced. And so this was something that I obviously wanted um, on a card. And so what we did here is we broke it down into different types of pediatric normal vital signs. Hopefully you can see that here. Um, and on the back, what we have are all the different pediatric uh, normal lab values. And so that's just one example of things that we, we have, different types of pain ratings. You also have the APGAR of, of kind of the difference between um, all the different aspects of an APGAR score, also your immunization schedule, what you should be getting for each of the different vaccines at the different age groups. Um, and on the back we have our developmental milestones. So at two, four, six, and nine months, what should you, uh, what should a, a baby be able to, to do? And then we kind of broke it down based off of up to five years. Um, and then labs, especially, you'll find that as you go further in, into your uh, medical education, education, these are no longer things that you'll need to reference and hopefully it'll be pretty soon that you won't need to reference them. But definitely early on, you'll never remember what a normal CBC looks like um, unless you've seen a few. And so this is a good way to kind of just have that in your back pocket when you're first starting off. What are all the normal lab values? At least what are the, the typical ranges? And they obviously differ based on the institution as well as some different types of conversions. EKGs was another thing that I never really could remember specifically um, what all these different boxes meant um, and how big normal ones were supposed to be. People would always say, oh yeah, what's a, what's a normal PR interval? Well, I don't know, but I can look that up and I can kind of have those, those, lab, those values here. Um, if you have different types of dermatomes, what, what, where does C3, C4, what, where do all these things what do all these things look like? Where are they in the different parts of the body? Um, something that I was oftentimes referencing when I was on my neurology uh, rotation, as well as uh, what, is, what are the aspects of a, a Glasgow coma scale, and different types of equations and, and things like that. And so you can see there's, there's a lot of different um, a lot of different things that we, we can reference here. Um, and a lot of things that you'll find, especially when you're starting off in a rotation, every, the first two weeks are always the most difficult. They're the times when you're just trying to get your bearings and try to figure everything out. Um, and I think that that was particularly helpful. And then what we kind of paired it along with, um, because it kind of was very similar, was the different types of abbreviations. The one rotation um, that I found was the most difficult uh, for all the different types of abbreviations was in, in OB. And so we kind of divided up um, just by general things, um, kind of going by alphabetical, as well as um, things that you would use maybe in surgery or maybe different types of weights or different types of labs. And kind of this for me was very important, especially on ob guide and as well as on, on pediatrics, where they literally have abbreviations for everything and I, I never could remember any of them. Even just reading through a note or going through an optho note was probably the most torturous thing that I've ever, ever done. Um, so I think that this for me was just, was just helpful to have just some of the more common abbreviations kind of at your, um, at your fingertips. Be sure to check out our website, medicalbasics.com, for more educational resources like our medical ID cards, scrub notes, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and lessons.